welcome to amar jyoti's crochet world today i am here once again with my new tutorial today we are going to make this cute little amigumi little miss mouse today we are going to make this mouse this can be made as a christmas decoration you can uh, hang one uh, piece of yarn over here and uh, this can be a hanging christmas ornament so we are going to make this cute and little mouse for christmas decorations so for making this mouse i am taking making it in white color so you need a white acrylic yarn i am using acrylic yarn you can take cotton yarn also and the dress for dress i am taking yellow color yarn as i made in red color and now i am going to make in yellow color and uh, giving some uh, strips with this green color so yellow and green for the dress and uh, for the little bow this is these are optional i am taking red color for the bow and uh, some black yarn to make the eyes and mustache and a little bit of pink color to make its nose light pink i have taken so you can take pink color baby pink color for making the nose right and the crochet hook that we are going to use is 3.5 mm crochet hook okay a uh, tapestry needle to sew all the ends and we will be working in the spirals so i am taking a stitch marker for that and a pair of scissors to cut the yarn so let's begin making the your uh, little miss mouse a little and cute project it can be uh, as a toy for a small kid so let's begin it so first of all make a magic circle in the magic circle make 3 chain 1 uh, start with chain 1 and make 3 single crochet 1 2 3 i am making the pointy nose so that is why i am taking 3 stitches pull the yarn and close the loop now row number 2 one single crochet in the first stitch mark this first stitch with a stitch marker or a piece of yarn an alternate piece of yarn one single crochet in the first stitch two single crochet in the second stitch and one single crochet in the third stitch so total stitch count after row number 2 is 4 row number 3 one single crochet 1 2 3 and 4 right so begin with one single crochet in first stitch mark this stitch two single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in third stitch and two single crochet in the last stitch total stitch count after row number 3 is 6 remove the marker for row number 4 one single crochet in first two stitches and two single crochet in the third I repeat it two times one single crochet in first one in second and Two in the third. Once again, one, one, two. This was row number four, and total stitch count after this row is eight. Row number five. One single crochet in first three stitches. and two single crochet in the fourth one 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 single crochet in first one in the second one in the third and two single crochet in the fourth one in the first one in the second one in the third 
and 2 in the fourth. So total stitch count after row number 5 is 10. Row number 6, 1 single crochet in first 4 stitches and 2 single crochet in fifth stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4 and in the fifth make 2 single crochet. Again 1, 2, 3 and 4 and in the fifth stitch make 2 single crochet. After row number 6 the total stitch count is 12. Row number 7 1 single crochet in first 5 stitches uh, how many? Huh? In the sixth stitch, make two single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and in the sixth, make two single crochet. Again, repeat it. One, two, three, four, and five, and in the sixth, make two single crochet. Total stitch count after this row is fourteen. Next row, 1 single crochet in first 6 stitches and in the 7th stitch make 2 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and in the 7th make 2 single crochet. Again repeat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and in the 7th Two single crochet total stitch count after this is 14 it should be 14 let me count once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 oh it in the seventh we have made two now so it Total stitch count is 16. So next row, 1 single crochet in first eight stitch, 7 stitches and in the 8th make 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and in the 8th I am going to make 2 single crochet. And repeating once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and in the 8th making 2 single crochet. Total stitch count after this row is 18. Now 1 single crochet in first 8 stitches and in the ninth stitch make 2 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, and in the ninth make two single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and in the ninth making two single crochet so total stitch count after this row is 20 one single crochet in first nine stitches and in the tenth make two single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine and in the tenth making two single crochet repeating once again one two three four five six seven eight nine and in the tenth making 2 single crochet. Total stitch count after this row is 22. 1 single crochet in first 11 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and in the 11th stitch make 2 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
10 and in the 11th two single crochet total stitch count after this row is 24 now I am going to uh, uh, stop increasing now one row with one single crochet in all the 24 stitches only so first stitch I am going to mark with it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 right remove the marker now I am going to make a slip stitch in the next stitch chain 1 and finishing it off because I am going to make the dress part of this mouse so if you want to make it a white one then you can continue and uh, the total number of rows that I have made for the body are 10 right 1 with white then 3 with red 1 with 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so total 10 rows with the for the body and then decreasing it to close the body so I am finishing off the white color because I am making the face with white color then the dress part then the rest body then we will attach the white, part, uh, white color yarn so now taking the dress color any color you can take here I have taken red color with green stripes now I am making with yellow color and uh, green stripes you can make with any other color also so attach the other color with a slip knot slip knot chain one and in the same stitch I am making single crochet starting single crochet so making one single crochet in each of the stitches for next three rows for three rows I am going to make with this color now one with white now three more rows with yellow one with green then two with red one with green and two with red so let me finish this three rows then I'll meet you when I'll change the color now I'm going to attach the second color so I am going to take the make the last stitch and uh, adding the next color this green color yarn okay one row with this green color you can make in single color also you can make in multicolor total number of rows for the body I have made taken is 10 rows the design or the pattern for the dress you can choose by yourself either you can make in one color two color three color or multicolors so one row done now let's shift to second color that is the dress original dress color I am not cutting this yarn because I will be making the second row, row also for this so now I am going to make two rows with yellow color and then one row with green color and then again two rows with yellow color so make two rows with yellow color then attach reattach the green yarn and then make one row with that as I told you I have made 10 rows with this 3 rows with yellow 1 row with green 2 rows with yellow 1 row with green and 2 rows with yellow and now I have finished it off I will make the body and then if you want to make it a male mouse then don't make this skirt this frills don't make it I will show you if you are going to make a male mouse then you are going to work like this the rest body you will be making as taking both 
the loops together and then attach the white color yarn and then make the rest body of the body and if you want to make it a female mouse then you are going to work with white color or the body color yarn with the uh, at the back post in the back loop only not in the front loop in the front loop we will be making this frills and in the back loop we will be making attaching the white yarn for making the body rest body so let me attach at the back loop only the white color i am going to make it a female mouse because i am going to show you how to make the frills also so in the back loop only attach the yarn and then make one single crochet in each of the stitches just to make it a base one so one single crochet in each of the back loops only this front loop i am leaving to make the frills of the frock of your mouse female mouse if you don't want to make it a female mouse you can make take the both the loops together like this right so right now i am making one single crochet in each of the back loops of your mouse total stitch count is 24 right let me count it counter counting is uh, really important 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 okay this 24 is for the like this okay now i'm going to work in spirals as I was working so one single crochet in uh, it is 24 now so one single crochet in first two stitches and in the third stitch I am going to decrease taking the front loops of next two stitches and making a single crochet so let me mark the first stitch repeat this sequence till end now I am taking both the loops because I am going to work for the body so one one and a decrease one one and a decrease one one and decrease one one decrease one one and a decrease for the last time so total stitch count after this row is 18 remove the marker next row one single crochet in the first stitch and a decrease so now we are going to make one single crochet and a decrease 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 one single crochet decrease one single crochet decrease total stitch count after this row is 12 at this point of time I am going to stuff my mouth you can stuff with cotton or polyfill or fiber filling whatever is available with you even uh, you can fill with the sponge uh, pieces cut in small pieces of uh, sponge and then stuff it that is also a good option stuff it properly don't over stuff it and as I always say 
always stuff your amigurumi in smaller quantity of fiber filling do not try to uh, take the huge amount of uh, filling and then start stuffing it because it will distort the shape actual shape of your project so try to fill it in small quantities this will give you an idea how much filling is required and how much you have filled just a little bit and then just make the finish right now I am going to make a decrease in every stitch till the stitch count remains 6 taking two stitches together 1 2 3 4 5 6 now you have 6 stitches remaining now I am going to make some more decreases decreasing for the one more time so now you have 4 stitches left one more decrease just that now don't you don't need to close the mouth just leave it and make chain 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 now in leave first stitch from the hook and in the second stitch make one single crochet in the next stitch make two single crochet again one single crochet and in the next two single crochet in the next because I am going to make it a wriggly tail so one single crochet in next and two in the next so three times we have done five times we will do it in total two in the next this is the fourth time and one single crochet in first two in the second this is the fifth time after that I am going to make one single crochet in each of the stitches leaving the tail straight if you want to make it wriggly one do it till the total uh, till this upper corner one single crochet in each of the stitches till you reach the starting point and here in the top just make a slip stitch chain 1 and finish it off the tail we will hide inside of the body with the help of your uh, tapestry needle or with the help of your crochet hook just pull the yarn inside and that's it beautiful tail is ready and then this body is ready now we are going to make the skirt then ears bow eyes and all that so we are going to make this the skirt now as we have finished making the whole body now we are going to make the skirt of this mouse so if you are making the male as I told you you will not make this skirt and you will take the full, full uh, loops both the loops but now as I have left one row uh, the front loop in each stitch so I am going to attach my dress color yarn with one of the front loop with the help of a slip knot 
like this chain three now in each loop make three double crochet chain three this starting chain three is our first double crochet considered as first double crochet two more double crochet in the same front loop now in next front loop make three double crochet three in the next front loop again make three double crochet so till the end you are going to make three double crochet in each of the front loops you have left so right now it looks a bit straight when you will complete it it will get a curl up like a skirt so when you will finish till end by completing it over here and slip stitch in the third chain of this chain three the topmost chain of your chain three so finish three double crochet in each of the front loops that you have left for making the skirt so one two three like this make three double crochet in each of the stitches i have done all the ruffles and then in slip stitch in the third stitch and then i have attack all the loose ends and now skirt is done let's make the ears now for making the ears whatever body color you are choosing just choose that take that i made with the white color so i am taking the white color yarn this is the row where we had started so if you want to start from here like this to keep it on one side like as i have done it like this over here you can start from here otherwise just to hide it make it at the below and on the upper side in any of the stitches of the white or the body color row in any of the stitches just attach your yarn with the help of a slip knot chain 2 right this is the right side ear we are going to make so chain 2 i am going to start and then in the same loop hold it and make three double crochet 1 2 3 1 in the same loop and then now for closing make chain 3 1 2 3 and slip stitch in the same loop chain 1 and finish it off cut the yarn as i told you this sequence the pattern that i have told you to make the ear it is for the right ear of your mouse starting with chain 2 and ending with chain 3 and pass the loose end through the stitches and hide them inside the body or the mouth okay right this is one ear and now leave four stitches in between 1 2 3 4 8 right? if it is visible or not uh let me show you after making the ear you are going to skip four stitches 1 2 3 and 4 in the fifth stitch you will attach your yarn once again with the help of a slip knot this time you are going to make the left ear so you are going to start with chain 3 1 2 3 chain and three double crochet 1 2 3 in the same stitch and 
and this time I'm going to end with third. This time I'm going to end my ear, left ear with two chains, chain two and slip stitch in the same stitch, chain one and finish it off. Let's hide all the tails. Make it possible whenever you finish your work and right along with that hide the tails. Okay. Now see the difference. This is the center portion. Here I have made three chains. This will make it a pointy one, just upper, making standing like upper one. And here I have made two chains, so it is the, the lower portion like that. So these make the ears of your mouse. Chain 3 in the inner sides and chain 2 in the outer side. Like, right now we are going to make the little bow for your mouse. So taking any other color, I am taking a red color. Make two chains. One, two. Rather make uh, four chains, sorry. I have made two chains, three and four. Four chains and in the first chain, or a fourth chain from the hook, make five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five, sorry. Chain three, slip stitch in the same stitch. This is the one side of your bow. Now the other side of the bow, we are going to work on this side. So again make chain 3 and 5 double crochet in the same stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Chain 3 and slip stitch in the same stitch. Chain 1 and finish it off. Leave some long tail as we are going to um, wrap the yarn around your bow and then we will stitch it on the ear. Now this is the center portion. Take your needle and this yarn we are going to attach the bow as well as complete it. These acrylic yarns are really their strands usually get open up whenever you use the needle. Okay, now take the bow. As you you have seen, these are the stitches. So pass your yarn through these stitches like this, right? And then pull it and then the other side, this side. We have passed through this side, now pass through the other side. Okay, now after bringing it, pull it. This will close the center portion. And now wrap it a couple of times to make it look like a bow. Let's give a bow effect like this. Right? At the back side, tie up a knot by taking all the wraps together.
like this. Now this loose end can be cut off because it's very long. So let me cut it near the bow. Now I am going to attach the bow to one ear like this. You can make a tiny flower or a bow or a tiny star anything of your wish just stretch it with the help of your sew, uh, sewing needle near the ear of your little mouse if you are making it a female mouse if you are making it a male mouse then don't attach such accessories tie a proper knot and then hide the tail like this now we are going to make the eyes take the black color yarn Okay. As I usually tell you, tie a big knot at the end three or four times. bit more fat enough so pass it through any of the stitches from the back side and then where you want to have your eyes just bring your needle and pull the yarn the knot will automatically hide inside now take the end of your yarn and the needle and then wrap it around four to five times. I'm wrapping five times. Two, three, four, four, oh, oh, four and five. Five times I have wrapped. And then hold the wraps and then pull the needle through it. This will create a knot. And then go back to a little bit other side. And then bring the needle to the other side where you want the second eye of your mouse should be See. like that I wrap it five times two three four and five fold it like this and then pass the needle through it this will create the second eye of your mouse now let's make the eyeliner for it so how i have made this eye i am making go at the back side of the eye and then bring it to the front side from below like this And then how long you want the eyeliner should be go it there and then bring the same side like this go to the outer edge of your mouse eye it has created an eyeliner effect okay go to the back side of your mouse eye and then to the front side and where you want the how much long eyeliner you want go there and then bring it to the 
front side right come below and then tight and tie a knot okay beautiful cute eyes now below just take one or two strands of any of the yarn and then tie a tight knot this will be hidden i will show you just very less visible and pull the yarn and cut it off that's it Take the same yarn, black color yarn and pass it through, okay, here, it looks okay over here. tie some knot to make them close together Again, I am tying, going to tie a knot. Make it near to the body. Okay, that's it. And cut how much long moustache you want for the mouse. that's it now make the nose take some baby pink color tie some tight knots two or three two or three knots with pink color and then again pass it through under in the center of the nostril it has come out over here now as we are going to make a triangle like this just pass through it like this to how much area you want to cover just mark it this will give you an outline how much big or small nose you are going to have for your mouse Now start sewing the nose for your mouse.
के नाउ को एट वन कॉर्नर ऑफ द नोज एंड ब्रिंग इट टू द अदर कॉर्नर देन को एट द बैक साइड एंड टाइर नॉट This will create a nose, nose drill, pink color, baby pink color. You can you can make with the brown, black color, brown color, or beige color, any color. But as I am making it a female mouse, so baby pink color looks nice. And that's it. Your little cute Miss Mouse is ready. To celebrate Christmas, or oh, it's a beautiful. I mean, Rumi, you can give to your loved ones, and the small kids, babies, they can play with this cute mouse, baby mouse, little girl mouse. So, hope you like my video on making this beautiful and cute project. This amigurumi. of making mouse a female mouse i have made you can make it a male mouse also this can be made as a christmas decoration christmas tree decoration or christmas ornament by uh, attaching a strand over here this can be a hanging christmas ornament so if you want to make it a christmas ornament and you want to hang it on the christmas tree you can just attach a yarn strand of yarn over the top of the a mouse and here your beautiful um, christmas ornament is ready uh, an amy groomy mouse hope you like my video on making this beautiful and cute project please give it a thumbs up please like share and subscribe my channel and uh, write in the comment section how you like my videos if you have any suggestions or your suggestions are always welcome and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification for each and every upload i'll make on my channel and thank you for all the love you show with by watching my videos it really means a lot and thank you for watching my videos thank you once again